hi again, my name's Andy and I'm working on this uh, Edistone uh, S680X and uh, whilst I'm waiting for a replacement choke to arrive I've been redrawing the circuit diagram and in order to support the circuit diagram I wanted to produce a component identification chart as well so this is the circuit diagram uh, that I've uh, retraced and uh, redrawn and uh, this is the uh, component identification uh, or at least as far as I've gone and uh, I thought I'd share with you uh, how I went about making uh, the component identification uh, chart. I don't have any uh, lighting facilities to do a studio job on photographing the radio and what I found was uh, uh, it was good to photograph the radio in sunlight but uh, preferably not direct sunlight as that creates very harsh shadows so uh, a little bit of uh, cloud is good as you get a, a, a more diffused light. I actually took quite a lot of photographs and uh, selected the best one for the job uh, from that group. So this is the image in Photoshop and um, those blue lines I've used to square up the chassis because I'm photographing it looking up at the chassis so uh, that that means that the uh, the rectangular chassis becomes trapezoidal so I've uh, squared it up I then converted the image into uh, a black and white image in fact I've used what they call the infrared view as this gives a uh, very satisfactory effect and will work well with the overwriting. Next I change the opacity of uh, that layer to 60%, 60%. Uh, as I don't want a stark image, I only want the outline, the ghost of where the components are. But because I've got the checkerboard background uh, it makes it a little bit difficult to see the actual image so I then added a layer of white underneath the image and now you can see the components quite clearly again I identified each of the positions for the valves and put a uh, black dot uh, over the base of each valve I then put a white dot over each of those black circles so now I've got a white background with a black ring around it not very easy to draw a circle um, in Photoshop to draw that black uh, circle around it so that's just a convenient way of uh, getting the black border around the white dot so that gave me a nice background that I could uh, type on the, uh, the various values and here I've put in uh, the wave change switches and one or two other comments. So uh, the image is beginning to take shape now and uh, this is uh, a shot of the image without the Photoshop framework around it so uh, just looking at it and I'm really quite pleased with it but it does highlight a problem that I have the radio that I'm working on is an Edistone 680X but if you look at the bottom of the screen I've actually typed it as a 608X and I've been working on this for quite some time and to me I can look at that and I see what I want to see this is a problem I've always had and over the years I've designed and built equipment of enormous complexity I've designed and built a 150 kilowatt radio frequency system for zone refining silicon for the electronics industry and uh, I've uh, designed the heating system for levitation melting of metals for the National Physical Laboratory 
and I have all sorts of very special purpose handling equipment uh, but if you give me your telephone number I have to take it down two digits at a time otherwise I get confused and I scramble the numbers and um, the yeah, good case in point with the, uh, the Edistone 680 here at some stage I may make uh, a separate video about word blindness as it's uh, it's plagued me for a long time anyway getting back to the radio I wanted uh, some of the items to have solid backgrounds like the valves for instance but for the capacitors and the inductors um, I wanted to be able to see through the lettering um, but I wanted a, a background for the lettering so here I've laid down a 50% white rectangle layer and then typed in the uh, numbers over it so L1415 etc and on the capacitors that you can see there uh, I've actually typed directly onto the white of the uh, the little uh, trimmers there as that's fine and um, I think it's uh, it, it allows you to still see the shape of the chassis and the components underneath uh, but clearly identifies the components here I have correctly identified the chassis as uh, an S680X at the bottom of the screen there. Here, by way of comparison, I've gone back to the original colour image. You see I've got that saved in the bottom right hand corner as the first layer. And um, when you compare that with the black and white, I think the colour version uh, is uh, a lot more confusing and the, the black and white are a lot easier on the eye. I'm not quite sure how much more effort I will put into this now as I think I only need to identify the major components as it's not until I have to really start some serious work on the radio that I need to identify each individual resistor and capacitor but I thought this would be helpful and um, I will make this available on the Edistone user groups website um, so uh, anyway I hope you found that interesting uh, thanks for all of the nice comments that I've been getting I do appreciate that and um, thanks for watching bye bye